Austin, and you're listening to Podcast and Amplify, a podcast for women entrepreneurs who want to amplify their voice and brand through podcasting and grow a wildly successful business. I'm the executive producer and host of two shows and an entrepreneur, and I love helping women grow their visibility, mindset, and business to the next level. Each week, I share tips on how to launch and leverage your podcast, and I'm bringing on the very best business leaders to give you advice on how to build your business empire. Let's amplify your voice and business. Hey guys, welcome back to Podcast and Amplify. I'm your host, Kristen, and I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. I took Thursday through the weekend off and no social media, no work. And I have to say that I felt completely rejuvenated and refreshed. And I hope that all of you took some time, extra time to decompress and take care of yourselves. I'm curious if you take breaks from social media weekly or once a month. Yeah, I'm curious how you handle being on social media. So let me know, send me a DM on Instagram. I love to hear how that works for you. I'm always interested to see how other people just maintain their energy and maybe Being on social media does not drain your energy and you love it and you love posting, which is great. Everyone's different. Um, But I know for me, being an introvert, it's a lot of stimulation. I also want to share that this podcast will be taking a break. So my goal is to have two seasons of the podcast each year. And the first season ran roughly from September to December. It will run through December. The week of the 20th will be the last week that the first season episodes air. I will be taking that last week off. And then I'll be spending January and February of 2022 actually doing interviews, which I'm super excited about because I batched my interviews for this first season in August. So I haven't really spoken to anyone since August, a little bit in early September. And I am just jonesing to have more conversations with more fabulous women, business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches, and just to have these conversations and get inside their heads and tap into their wisdom. So I'm looking forward to that in January, February of 2022. And then the second season will launch in March and go through June, I believe. It's interesting because I really love the shoulder seasons. I love spring for its like new fresh energy. And then I love fall for its like winding down and the golden sunlight and the angle of the light is just really beautiful and sunsets are beautiful. So it really like makes sense and is very aligned with me um, that I am putting out my podcast during my favorite seasons. So I see it as a spring and fall season podcast and taking a break in the summer months and then taking a break in the winter months at the beginning of the year. So that's what it's going to look like moving forward. But in between that time, I'll still be putting out content and I'll still be connecting with you all around podcasting and growing your business. I just won't have the podcast running until March and March actually happens to be my birthday month. So it just all feels really great to come back strong with some really great episodes. I have about 15 spots available and I think I've booked four interviews already. So they're filling up fast. So if you are interested in being on the show or you know of someone who you think would be a really great fit for the show, go ahead and head on over to my website and on the podcast page, podcastandamplify.com forward slash podcast. There is a form to sign up and you can enter your information there. I'll review it and get back to you if I think you'll be a good fit. Or if you know of anyone, please send them there um, to fill out the form. So that's it for what to expect for the podcast 
in the next couple of weeks and into the new year. But today, I want to talk about how to turn your listeners into customers. Now, this is a question that I get from a lot of people because I work with entrepreneurs and they really want to know how is the podcast going to help me grow my business? How am I going to make more money, essentially? And so one of the best ways that a podcast can help you grow your business is by really just being another way that people can connect with you, that you can share your expertise, that you can continue to foster that trust and likability factor, and also to promote your products and services. So let's talk about the three ways that you can turn your listeners into customers. Okay, so the first way is to have a lead magnet. Definitely link your lead magnet to your podcast. So you can promote it on the show while you're doing your intro, or you can create an ad for it. I have an ad for mine. My lead magnet is a 30 minute workshop. It's the three secrets to starting a successful podcast. And I insert an ad in the middle of every episode and direct listeners to that really great resource. And it's really important to do this because podcasts are a great place to warm up your listeners, to buy from you by offering something free. And so you want to definitely plug that lead magnet on your show and tell your listeners where they can go to find it. You can also include a link to your lead magnet in the show notes, which I recommend that everyone does, whether it's a PDF or a webinar. It's just a great way to provide value to listeners and then have them join your email list and be a part of your community and just build that connection so that you can nurture them. A couple other things besides your lead magnet that you want to make sure to include are if you have a podcast landing page on your website for them to go check out your show notes or other resources. If that's on your website, that could inevitably get them to look around on other parts of your website and learn more about you. But the idea really is to provide value and make it really easy for your listeners to get access to that value. So it's important to talk about it and promote it in your show and in the show notes. Okay, so the second way to turn your listeners into customers is by advertising your service or your products. So before we talked about a freebie that you have, but this is actually promoting your services that are paid So your podcast is like airtime, right? And so you should really be using it as an opportunity to advertise during the airtime that you have. So you can create an ad specifically for your course or your VIP day or whatever it is that you are selling. And for ads, you actually have three opportunities within your show to insert your ad. You have the option of inserting an ad right at the beginning of your show, the middle, or the end. Typically, you wouldn't do this in all three places. So the best conversions happen when the ad is actually in the middle of the episode because most people won't skip past it. They'll just listen to it. And that's why I recommend creating an ad that is 30 seconds or less. Now that might not sound like a lot of time, but it actually is a, I find a perfect amount of time. It forces you to get all the pertinent details in there and send them to the link, which is the most important part of where they can find out more about your services. And it's not too long. So people will actually listen to it for 30 seconds without skipping over it. Hey Explorers, we'll get back to the show in just a moment, but I wanted to take just a few seconds to invite you to the free workshop that I created. It's called The Three Secrets to Starting Your Successful Podcast. 
Now it's all about helping you to start your dream podcast so that you can share your voice and expand your business. If you want to join, just go to podcastandamplify.com. It's totally free. All right, friend, back to the show. So that's how long my ads are. They're short, they're sweet, but they really get the point across. And then people can go back to listening to the episode. So I also recommend that you have at most two ads within one 45 minute or longer episode. For this podcast, typically the episodes are around 20, 25 minutes. So what feels comfortable to me is to have one ad in the middle. I would say that you would kind of need it to be around 40, 45 minutes, an hour to do say an ad in the middle and then an ad at the end or an ad in the middle and an ad at the beginning. But I wouldn't do an ad at the beginning, middle and end. For me, three just seems really spammy. Uh, within one episode. So just play with it and figure out like what feels good to you. But they're definitely a great way to promote your paid products or services. And it's, it's especially great because they these ads can feel really organic. Like it's just you talking to your audience and sharing this service that you provide and the value that it will bring or the transformation that it will help your clients with. And they've already been listening to your voice and you speaking. So it just feels very natural to listen to you talk about what you do and what you sell. So that is another way to turn your listeners into customers. Okay. And so the last one that we're going to talk about here is including a call to action. So you always want to include a really strong call to action. So something like asking your listeners to follow you on Instagram or to join your Facebook group or to join your email list. It's important to remember that the more touch points people have with you, the better. You want to be doing this inside every episode because the more that you invite people into your community and give them different ways to interact with you and your content, the better. Also, word of mouth is the best way to get followers and customers. So I think one of the best calls to action is to ask your audience to share your podcast with their friends and leave a review. And honestly, I think I'm more interested in listeners sharing the podcast with their friends, because that is such a great way to get listeners by someone who they trust and they know and they like recommending your show to them. It's more likely that they're your target audience. So those are the three ways to turn listeners into customers. Now, these are actually from one of the guides that's included in my podcast accelerator course that helps you launch your podcast. I actually include five ways to turn your listeners into customers and include a bonus sixth way. But I wanted to highlight the three that I thought would have the most impact. So again, that's having a lead magnet that offers listeners a value for free and will get them on your email list and into your community. Number two, advertising your paid services or product. And number three, having a really solid call to action so people can get to know you outside of the podcast. So that's it for this week. I hope this episode was helpful for you. I'd love to know which one of these ways resonated with you most and which ones you could see doing with your podcast. So definitely send me a DM on Instagram. I'm at podcast and amplify, which you will see linked in the show notes, of course. So that's it for this week. I will be back next week with a new episode. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next week. If you love today's episode, please subscribe so you don't miss a show. And rating and reviewing this podcast is the best way to help support us. Always remember your voice and what you have to offer is needed in the world. Until next week, take care.